all right what is going on everyone and welcome back so this is the first time i'm actually trying the dekia akman temple um i've been in here many times going for the compass back in the day but we've never done the dekia one and figured you know let's go do that and don't particularly know if there's any specific crystal setup i'm supposed to be using so i'm just going to use the default and then go from there. So with that said, um don't need don't need comma damage. I think demi human is better here, but all out of attack, it'll work. So anyway, with that said, let me just make sure to check demi human elixirs. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is it's about this is better than Histria in terms of Earring drop rate, but that's still like one every six hours, so still not that good. So anyway, with that said, let's do this. Also, I tried to enhance earlier and downgraded. I, then I bought another one and also downgraded it. So we're down like 200 billion silver. I bought Bender Crons. Didn't feel good. It is what it is. We'll be back. Um, so if I understand, this spot shouldn't be too difficult in terms of, like, Ash Forest, I'm gonna die difficulty, but it's also not, like, a lot of silver, so. I heard at the high end, people are making, like, 1 billion, <laughs> which is not good. But yeah, eventually I do want to do a goal and just collect a lot of um trash or devo earrings and then we'll do one big enhancing session one day but i do have to get mine back to tet which is why i'm also here hoping for the best oh yeah the event ores make sure to actually start grinding because that'll get you best in slot end game crystals so it's definitely something that i think newer players should look into and I have a crystal video if you want to see everything I use. It's both endgame and I made a set for beginners. So definitely something to look at. The broken ancient electrical device is about to be activated. I don't know what that means. I do wonder how many ancient scrolls you do get here because I need these for whenever we do our journey to Penn Blackstar and we always need memfrags so that's one thing. Also I do have a video that I recorded earlier today. We did a grind and we're going to be starting our journey on Wusa. I'm not re-rolling, I just have it tagged, and um, I actually want to learn Wusa again, so it's almost level 64, that's awesome. <clears throat> okay, so if these do knockdowns, depending on how bad it is, maybe I'll use knockdown resist crystals. Is there like a secret mechanic like in Histria where you get the Big Elton? Also, I don't know, since this is my first time here in Oh, I guess since I got my compass over a year ago. I don't know which Dekia spots are the ones to be in. So I just kind of thought, hey, we're, we're going to figure this out. However, if I get another compass piece, 
<laughs> that would be pretty funny. I don't want to ever grind another Elton piece again, that's for sure. Also, I don't know how much trash loot is considered good here, so... All that matters is, can we get a Debo? If yes, awesome. If not, not awesome. Good news is here, they kind of group up really nicely, and then I just kind of AoE them down. Bad news is I feel like if I did this for like more than two hours at a time, my brain would just go to mush and then I'll be like, oh, I got to do something else. Also, I've talked about this in other videos I've done before, but you know how scenery and environment actually do play a big part in your like mental when you're grinding. So, for example, like grinding in a cave like this or a temple feels kind of awful after a while but if you're grinding out in the open in Kama Sylvia and it's like bright nature green colors and everything it actually just like it makes me feel like I could go for like another hour but then grinding in here kind of sucks so I never thought I'd be back here but we talked about the patch notes um or the global lab notes a few videos ago and they announced that they're coming out with Dekia um, Pilaku Jail and Dekia, what is it, Sulfur Mine. So we're going to be doing that because I want to actually go for the Archaeologist map. And yeah, that's another treasure item that I'll have to go for eventually. So it also drops Debo Earrings, which... We have five spots now that give Debo earrings, or I guess six if you count boss splits, but it's a super rare to the point where I don't think I'd really count it. So, like, effectively, five spots. Histria, Achman, the two, Pilaku Jail when it comes out, and Sulfur, as well as Dekia Olens, which could be a good or bad thing. Because, one, I need a pen earring, but also... Five spots that drop it means the price of it might go down. I'm not supposed to stand in that white one, am I? An elite Aquaman Guardian. Oh, those are not like the special ones. They're all kind of elite. Are there any, like, rare things I can get here? Uh, aside from the Debo earring and the uh, compass piece, it doesn't look like anything notable. Restrained Achman Elite Guardian. That's a different tag. Oh my god, the thing is angry. There's a lot of red. According to Garmoth, it's about one every six hours for an earring here, which there is no shot. I want to grind here six hours for one, but we want to do a little bit of a test just to see what it's all about here. I would rather grind that crypt and go back to going for devil belts and going for the rich merchant ring piece instead of this.
I didn't know how many Dekia towers there were. I only found two of them. It's probably like four in this area, but I just found the two that looked the cleanest and I went to it. Oh, guess what? I forgot to get church buffs. It's okay. I don't particularly think I need it, but it would have been nice. Also, we're down like 200 billion silver today. Fun story. It's not really fun. It's sad. I was enhancing. I downgraded this, my earring, and... So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just buy another one for like 80 billion. And keep in mind, I bought these with Vendorcron, so it's like 35 billion per attempt, which is kind of wild, actually. So 70 billion in Krons, another 70 from, or actually no, another 80 from the actual earring that I bought. So I'm like 140, and then we bought some extra bronze for the first attempt so i have clips of all of it i'll put it into a video at some other point but either way we're down about 200 bill feels bad minus 200 bill and a try earring which luckily i'm at the stage in the game where like whether i have a try or a tet it wouldn't really have made too much of a difference it's just bigger number looks nicer <laughs> Am I supposed to do anything with those uh, pillars that kind of just spawn and hit the ground? Because if I just if I'm just supposed to avoid it, very cool. I will leave those alone. Or those white things. If I'm supposed to like stand in it. Okay, maybe you don't stand in that one. Lightning bad. If we can get one Devo Earring, that would be nice. I'll buy some Vendor Crons and try to slam this one back to Tet. I should be trying to go for back attacks, but they all just kind of group up and I'm like, I want to AoE them down. So there's no like special events here like there is uh in Histria it's just faster spawn and no like mechanic where you fight the bubble thingy You know I'm actually okay with that cuz you know when there's various mechanics you know like Histria, where you have to get the buff, or like Ulakita, where you kill the special visionary and then you get a damage buff. <clears throat> Sometimes it's actually better to just like, how fast can I clear things without worrying about too much RNG of this.
Yeah, this scroll drop rate, seven of them in... I don't actually know. How long have we been in here? 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm going off the 10th buff because that's when I popped it, so... 7 and 15, man, you get more of these scrolls doing regular non deckia. There's a Dominator. I've never seen that one before. That's it, has a different title. Dude, if landed a morning light, bosses have taught me anything is how to iframe a lot. <laughs> and even then, I still mess it up. Dang, I saw that event or and I was like, is that an earring? No, it's a event item. But that's okay. I'll make another video talking about the best things to get, which for event wars but really just get the ones that you can't get off the market is the short answer or the one that costs the most if they're all available How much is the trash loot worth here? 32k. I want to go back to Thornwood. That place is good. <laughs> the next time I'll be in the desert is two weeks from now, I guess, probably. Whenever Pilaku and Sulphur come back. Because I do actually want the archaeologist map. Do I think I need it? No. But do I want it? Yep. I think realistically, the only... The only one that will make a huge difference on your day-to-day -day is probably the Rich Merchant Ring. Maybe the Krogdalo Sanctuary, if you count that one. But even then, it's kind of like... For the most part, if you only want one tier 10, just get the Pegasus. I need that red rock thing to leave me alone. Go explode in another corner. Yeah, I can tell. You know, if you look at the monster zone info right here, right? And you can see, like, all the Dekia spots, or just, like, everything in general. I truly do think, like, Dekia Olins and Dekia Ash should be <clears throat> in another category, because 310 versus 320 is a huge difference. Whereas this one is very straightforward. I haven't gotten surprised here yet at least nice
wonder if they you know how if you're going for the what is it Achman compass piece and the guardian drops it i wonder if they all drop it here in this one because like why not if you're grinding the super version you might as well just have everything drop at the same rate Oh my god, almost got hit by that. Also, another question a lot of people ask me is, how many maids do you need to be able to grind all spots? And... The honest answer is like if you are free to play and you only got the ones that they give you from events you don't really need that many however there are certain spots where it is very nice to have especially like Aquaman and Histria where you can't bring your horse in to stack so we'll find out how many you need in here but I think realistically the only spot where I actually used a lot of maids even though you can horse stack is probably the highlands in the Ulakita area because that one, like, I had, I think I need, like, around 70 to be able to transfer infinitely or on cooldown. So, like, this is what I have now. 67 storage maids. Um, trust me, I didn't buy all of them. I think I bought maybe, like, 20 back in the day. And then just by playing this game for over eight years, they just kind of give it to you like candy. So, that's not the right earring we want. I'll take it, I guess. Achman Flamin. That must be the elite one. One that we should watch out for. Why is there a ring on the wall? What does that mean? Wow, he killed an elite. He begins his rampage. Calm down. What is the weight here? Like 0.3? Yep, 0.3. Fifty-seven mil. You guys remember when? Hungrad earrings were like 100 mil back in the day, a few years ago. Not any more than not. I think realistically, the best thing to do with these Tungrad rings, if you're actually going for them, is uh, slamming them to like duo or try and using them as deck EF fuel. It's not like value for you, but it's value if you grind deck EF spots a lot. I think the most cost efficient ones right now are like Pry, Ogres, and Leightons right now. 
and or ones for like mass ones is hungry out earrings that like duo to try why is that one different that's a huge circle yeah that like aoe one's different math does not check out Our inventory must be getting close to be full. Yep. When I have to uh, drop off, we'll see how many I take up. And then we'll multiply that by two because we are roughly 28 minutes into the grind. By the way, did you guys see the new outfit, the Elderwood one that came out today? It actually looks really nice. It's for it's a male exclusive outfit, which is very rare. And I thought if you've ever played like one of those Dark Souls Elden Ring kind of games, um, yeah, the outfit kind of looked like that. It's really nice. Love Dark Souls, by the way. I don't think I could ever make videos of it, but fun game to play off recording. Take my hand off the keyboard for one second. This is what happens. I like seeing those. At least right now I do. Not two weeks from now I won't. If we get an earring, 
We'll buy Vendorcrons and try to slam this try back to Tet. It's not going to be pretty because that's like 6 billion and that's all I have right now. <laughs> What is that line? Oh my goodness. Something needs to be done about that one. See how many maids did that take? Uh, thirty-five. Thirty-five in half hour with uh, the max weight. Yeah, I would say if you have more than thirty, realistically, you'll be fine. You to have like 20 to 30. I'm glad it tells you that. Not that I stand in it, but I'm glad it tells you that. Ooh, another one. I think I just need eight of these this hour. Yeah, I just need two more and then I could go exchange for something. Big boy elite coming through. Oh, why are you over there? Get in the group with everyone else. I'm for a group picture. I assume, like, when you stand in them, they don't really hurt, but if you stand in, like, five of them, they probably hurt.
Wow, we we killed the elite and got one sealed black magic crystal. Pog. <laughs> so bad. Three hundred AP spot. One bill an hour. So you know how they did the central server test about two weeks ago, right? I wonder when they're going to implement it into the live servers. all my friends who did it and that are on the east coast said it was really good and i'm on the east coast so that's good and then people who are on the west coast said it wasn't that bad of a difference i guess it depends where but currently the servers are on the west coast but what it's central hopefully it's good I will say the spot is pretty chill. Is it fun? Not really. But if they increase the drop rate of the earrings, I might do it. By the way, I'm looking to get into doing Olin's again. Because one, I need a merchant ring piece there. And two, um... I want more Debo earrings, so if anyone wants to do Olin's, hop into Discord. We already have some people, but if we can get more people who want to run stuff, um, like I guess at different times, that would be awesome as well. One Debo earring, please. really been paying attention how many scrolls do i have 16 in 40 minutes holy that's bad 
Let's go to normal history and you get like 60 an hour. And I know that. 50 to 60 an hour. I'm convinced regular Achman might actually be better than this one. I'll be honest, I don't even think you need elixirs here. I think you can just go in straight up like Frenzy and you'll be fine. Am I good on... Oh god, I gotta restock on elixirs soon. Yeah. Kinda expensive. Kabua artifacts less than five bill yet. Nope, they're still almost maxed out. I wonder why, like, the Highland spot is actually a really good spot if you can grind there. I don't even think it's that difficult. Dude, at level 66, I already knew this, but the XP is so slow. I don't know how people are getting 67. Like, what do you do? I'm pretty sure RBF is actually the best XP at 66. Getting 1.8 for me was like probably 10 to 15 hours of grinding. <laughs> it's not great. I hope in the future they actually start adding spots that would, um, like high end spots to go past 66. But they're probably thinking of a way because you know how in basically all the spots you can just leech XP all the way to high levels. They're probably thinking of a way to try to see if you could do it solo. And one way I would, if I were to not want it to be a group spot or be leechable, what I would do is, you know the Mirawax Labyrinth or Arethia's Limbo? Make something instance like that. And, um, for a lot of XP. We're only 45 minutes in, and my brain kind of went to mush already. It's like, I'm standing in one spot. I, I don't mind tower spots like Dornwood and everything, but just grinding in, in the desert. There's just something about it. That's why I was like the happiest moment in my BDO career is probably getting to Compass. Just because I didn't want to grind there, and the Elton one was huge pain. I was more excited getting to Compass than I did getting a Pendevo both of them.
now that I think of it, my proudest moments in this game are probably getting all three dream horses, and each tier 10 was very exciting, actually. Obviously, getting, like, gear is nice and all, but, like, the, the treasure items, to me, I felt like I, I found more excitement out of those than any piece of gear I found. Or it made, I guess. What happened to that, like, flaming thing? We only saw two of them. wonder if those are RNG spawns. I'm looking at this and I'm like, I don't think any of the other things aside from the 100 is actually worth it. I do wonder what the Grip of Grudge does, though. Let's see. What did that, like, how do you activate that one? BSR Grip of Grudge. I don't even know how to activate that one. <laughs> okay, I guess. I was kind of zoned out. I didn't even know that Flamin spawned until like I was looking at the floor and I'm like, I see more red than I normally see. Simon says, don't stand in red. That one's kind of tanky for the amount of like hot garbage loot you get. Wow. Garbage. Okay, so we'll go until the elixirs run out, and that'll be an hour. Well, this was overall a good experiment. Do I think the spot is bad? Kinda. <laughs> For like the amount of gear score they recommend you be here at? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Do I think it was pretty chill though? Yeah, I think it was like, I didn't feel surprised or feel like I got to uh, put my hand on the whale tendy pot. So that's good. Yeah, it's really chill. It's just kind of inconvenient to come out here and grind. I do think it probably is better if you're actively trying to go for the compass piece because everything is just here and it comes to you versus you doing donuts and normal.
Are earrings really once every six hours here? That's not good. I would rather grind like somewhere that gives me a lot of money and then buy a tet already pre-made at like 80 bill. Like unironically skip all the RNG and might actually be better. Range damage reduction artifact. That was never really good, even back in the day. And especially in 2024, if you're an endgame player, you have Kabuas for PvE. And you have, like, very specific ones for PvP, like accuracy or straight damage. Or if you're a tanky build. Evasion DR. So it's like there's a lot of choices for artifacts but there's only like four or five right ones but if you're a life skiller you have a lot of things to do and get I think so. Oh, old pickled vegetables. Nice. <laughs> 300k. Uh oh, big boy elite. Coming in hot with that, like, one firestone. Am I missing something? Why is my HP 6900? Probably no church buffs. That's probably it. Wow, I did it. Got 10 weapon stones. That's wild.
I really hope the new spots like Pilaku Jail is going to be a lot easier. Historically, from what I've heard, the archaeologist map has always been easier to get than the compass. So, I hope I don't have to spend like 500 hours getting all of them, and I hope I don't get too many duplicates. All right, four minutes left, and then we'll uh, call it. Yeah, overall, chill spot is a good, not really, but it's, uh, if you're just here to do an hour of grind after work and just chill out, it's definitely it. Low effort. I actually, honestly, nowadays, I sometimes grind spots that I just eat. Just enjoy, even if it's not top silver or anything. Just because it's really chill. That's fun to me. I should probably go to those. I do want the new uh, housing buffs that they gave from those two bosses. Probably do that. But let me finish up this hour. They'll probably still be alive in a minute. By the way, another question I've gotten, it's not a common question, but people ask me, are bosses worth going to? Um, the answer is generally no. Um, I think the ones that are probably more justified going to is Vels and Garma, because those are kind of expensive things, but everything else you're just kind of going because you have nothing else to do.
All right, let me clear these and once my buffs go away, I'm out. Okay, well, um, let's see. We got 22,000 trash loot, two earrings, hot garbage from these, and 50 black magic crystals, 50 capris. Uh, how much is all this? Probably like 600, 660 in trash. Another hundred. Wait, 50 times two, yeah, hundred. And then there's probably like a little bit less than a billion silver, but I don't think anyone is at Achman for silver, but cool. So with that said, I am out. Hope you guys enjoyed this hour. Um, is this the best spot? I have no idea. This is the first one I found. So anyway, I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.